Hey everybody, I thought I'd try and do a relatively quick video today. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, the tripod that I use. Uh, I've been using it for about a year now. Uh, this tripod is primarily for um, competition shooting events. Um, and then I also use it for some dry fire practice. I guess a little bit of live fire practice. But I don't really, <clears throat> I don't shoot much off a tripod. I don't use it as rear support. Um, but the thing that I am very happy with it about is spotting and the, <clears throat> the tripod that I decided to go with after looking for a while, a little over a year ago, is the, uh, it's the Vortex Radian. Uh, a lot of stuff's <laughs> kind of covered up here, but you can see upside down, whatever. Uh, it's the Vortex Radi Radian, and I went with the leveling head instead of the ball head. Um, I'm not using this for high angle shooting, anything like that. So, um, and primarily just using this uh, as a spotter device. Um, <clears throat> so, just so you guys that don't know, and I'll kind of, I'll go back through and talk about some of the other stuff that's on here, but um, big BP carbon fiber leg. Uh, there's four, essentially four sections. So one, two, three, and bottom. Uh, they're twist locks, um, and they're super fast. I got big hands, but I can literally grab all three at once, pull them all the way to the end, and come back and lock, lock, lock. Um, so I uh, do feel like it is a pretty quick tripod. little bit here just leave the one leg up but uh, as far as around the leveling head one of the, the things that I really like about this um, against some of the other uh, let's say maybe the the best known high-end uh, tripods is the functionality of the, the radiant head and specifically the, the pan um, that's on it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and kick the rest of the legs out on this and then we'll talk about the functionality of the leveling head. Right, so once I got the legs pulled out I figured before I kick them open uh, and set it up as a tripod I give you a quick tour of the kind of the three sides that are here. So there's a little kind of a swivel loop that's here. Um, this is the push button for the head removal. So once you lock it down the whole unit comes out. Now, if you decided, hey, I bought the ball head, I want the leveling head or vice versa, unless you bought, I think you can buy them all as a single, singular kit. Um, these are swappable. So it's the same base for both different heads, but super easy in and out. Uh, and then the other part, uh, and this is the part that uh, I love personally the most, um, is this, there's this little cam pen and it does, you can <clears throat> pull out the side and then be able to spin it, push it back in, and then change your lock position. Um, so this is the this is a big thing, especially when you're panning target to target. Uh, if you're spotting shots or calling impacts, uh, stuff like that. So, um, and I usually set this side towards me. So I'll go ahead and kick it out here real quick. See if I can not knock the other tripod over. So you should be able to see that. Um, <clears throat> grab, I've been blessed to, uh, to have Swarovski spotters. Uh, these are 15 by 56, uh, I believe. Um, the, the leveling head function, uh, probably should have set this up a little bit different. You guys can see it first, but the leveling head is there's this little barrel that's here. You spin it and then you can squeaky, but it really doesn't make a difference. Um, and then lock it out so you can change the, the exact, I guess, uh, half ball head function on these. So, but once you get it set down and aimed at your your target, I can unlock 
that little cam that I showed you guys. So once this is locked down, you don't have to worry about fighting. Uh, this has a, um, this little mount has a, a pan on it, but the, be the best part about this is it literally just straight pivots on a, on a singular plane. So especially if you're like between right target, left target, that type of thing uh, makes it really great to use. Um, the big knob just is removal for the whatever ARCA device that you have here. So uh, ARCA mount fits there. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about some of the other ones is you had to use this this bottom can uh, cam to actually also, which you can do here, to use as your pan function, but you're all also fighting kind of as it turns. Uh, so once I get on whatever the target plane is, it's easier to use this back cam lock and, and just do your pivots with. So, um, and next I'll do a little other tour. I've got some comments about my setup here and I'll show you what else I've, I've attached to the legs and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, so we'll start from the back here um, from this leg. I've just recently added this. Um, I think it was from Short Action Precision. Um, this is their Kestrel holder. Uh, like it, easy in and easy out. I can hit the buttons, see the screen up here as I'm writing down stage dope uh, on my, my dope card for um, my Crush It timer. Um, so I didn't do anything super fancy to this. A couple black zip ties on that mount. So makes it pretty easy. I can kind of slide it up and down the leg here. Uh, this was a little Amazon bag, uh, but it's nice. I can throw, I got a little battery pack that's in there. My uh, dope cards from the last 22 match. Um, some charger cables extra markers, both permanent. Um, they keep some cash in there for um, paying for NRL 22 match stuff. I think I used to keep earplugs in here. I don't even know if there's anything in this little little pouch. Oh, yep, there's some earplugs um, in there. And then um, wind indicator. <clears throat> um, I haven't really used that much. Sometimes it's the subtle in that you're confirming exact direction there, but um, this, I don't remember what this came out of. I feel like it was a little Molly kit that I got from Amazon. These are some little S uh, carabiners, S beaners um, that work real well for this. I made a little bungee cord loop so I can tear tape. So I, I do tape on my, um, my dope cards. And then there's this Armageddon gear, a little, little dump bag uh, for center fire matches. I'll, I'll throw my empty brass in there. I keep a little um, microfiber cloth and then I also throw um, ammo for 22, uh, ammo boxes for 22 matches in between reloads. This side here, uh, have a little reminder. Um, <laughs> I'll share this with you guys. So, what I need to do to shoot a mover. We have um, one of the local matches that always has a mover at it. So dial your wind and then you take your holds from there. Um, and then miss on, this is me working on my wind, um, miss on the pro side of the wind, second reminder. Um, so far, I think I've shot two matches. Definitely been shooting better. Um, I wanna say increasing my wind value holds. Um, the last thing is I took, um, I'll call it the, the female side of the Velcro. So kind of the softer side. Um, and then I keep one of these short action precision, uh, little two round holders that keep my markers there. Um, and actually what I do with my cards, cause they're also on Velcro is I'll put them here write my dope down and then I can take them off of here, stick them on the rifle. So that actually works out really well. Uh, then the last thing that I have here is, um, which is more of an intention to come, um, hoping to, to video a couple matches. And so I have this uh, little GoPro um, sleeve attachment here and I'll be 
hopefully running a GoPro forward on uh, a couple matches to come. So. so it seems like it's pretty hard for me to make a short video. I have way too much, I guess, what I think is important to say. Um, but I, I did after, so this has been a year of testing the, the Vortex Radian tripod. Um, only last thing I could say about it is I feel like it's super sturdy, high winds, never had issues. Um, I don't feel like there's a, a very much vibration in winds uh, when you're trying to spot shots. Um, quick to move and adjust. Um, so really happy with it. Everybody has their opinion on the, on the carbon fiber tripods today, but um, somewhat of a Vortex fan. There's, there's definitely some downsides to everything, but um, super happy with this. I'm sure maybe one day I'll own the ball head, but I feel like as far as uh, my use on the ball head would be more backcountry hunting elk, mule deer, uh, this tripod just <clears throat> too big for that, uh, you know, any type of backpack in. Um, so I have some other kind of lighter weight uh, ball heads for that, but uh, super happy with it. I'd say check it out.